going to my dad's birthday dinner. Oh my, it's time to change it up. No more damn excuses, I'll just run. Not to shit on Russian restaurants, but my grandma just got a bug in her salad. <laughs> Don't make a fuss about it Just try it out camera is just not powerful enough to take in both me and the sunset. We had a really cute dinner. This is like really good lighting. So a little life update. I got to Russia like two days ago. It's already a bit of a shit storm. The day that I left England, I looked at like the red list countries. I knew Russia wasn't on them, but then my plan was to come to Russia for a week, go to Maldives, come to Russia for two more days, and then go back to England. But Maldives is on the red list. I would need to hotel quarantine because I have been to a red list country in the last 10 days. So now I might be coming back 10 days later than I thought I would be. I'm I'm back. So yeah, there's the Maldives problem. Then, because you don't need to quarantine in Russia, you just need to take a test like the day that you arrive. So I was uploading my test result onto the government website and the government website popped up with like a red little sign. Your passport is expired. I was like, what the fuck? And apparently my passport should have been changed when I turned 20. I'm like, a little scared. Yeah. I am also reading this book. I did not know that this was a famous book. My mom gave this to my dad as a joke, but then I saw one of those like finance bros starter pack memes and this book was in it. It's Neil Strauss, The Game. Obviously the men in this book mostly date hookers. No shade on hookers, but like, I feel like you don't really need special skills to date them. You know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway. Fun book. My mother does not cook, so we get like cute yum things. My moral backbone. Think differently, but never change. Why would you ever think of leaving me this? We're gonna go on a little walk. My mom is just changing her fit outfit of the day. Fit check. Gonna give you a little tour of St. Pete's. Funny how some pictures don't seem to show enough. This is my favorite place in St. Petersburg. It's called the Summer Garden, which is like literally almost the same thing as st james's park it's just like more vast and beautiful it has really pretty like fountains and has a little palace as well is that even though it's like super beautiful, it's so badly renovated. Bin bin. So cool. Wow. Yum. Good morning. 
I totally forgot to charge my camera overnight, but I just had my second PCR test and my mom and I are gonna go out for breakfast because we don't have any food at home. We're going for like a very normal breakfast. <laughs> my mom. So if you ever wonder why I'm overdressed, it's in my DNA. But like not today, <laughs> literally wearing flip flops. Trips and Petersburg is super famous for it's like rivers and canals, and it's gonna be sunset, so it's going to be so pretty. And this is my fit. Cause I'm a real speed racer, so I gotta get to know you all right. Also, St. Petersburg is super famous for white nights, so right now it's 10, and basically the sun doesn't set the entire night. I needed shoes that were between sneakers and heels so I could wear them from day to night. This is such a pretty baby blue. These are so pretty. Anyways, I always saw Matilda wearing these when I was like, mm, I need like casual but going out shoes. These were the first ones I thought of. And in exchange, my dad gets to personally trash these. <laughs> it's time for them. We're gonna go to an opera slash musical performance later. I'm gonna end, end this vlog here, so thanks for watching.